All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to take your Studio 5000, like version 32, if you wanna change it back to like version 31 or 33, back down to 31 or 32, you can do that this way. Now, obviously, if you wanna move your processor upwards, you just go ahead to your processor controller or controller properties and you change your controller properties and you move it forward. As you see though, I cannot move it backwards, right? So how do you do that? I'm gonna show you in this video how to do that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna still come in to save. Now in the old process of using uh, RS Logics 5000, you could edit the L5K. We're gonna do something similar to that again when it comes down to it, but I wanna show you this to begin with. We're gonna come in and go to save as. All right, and the save as right here, you're gonna go into right here and you're gonna save into a Logics Designer import export file L5K. All right, so then we're gonna save. All right, we're gonna come over here. Then we're going to make sure we have our file. We're gonna edit our file, okay? So and now I wanna show you, I'm not gonna edit it right now, but I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do. So we're gonna open up a Logix Designer or Studio 5000. We're gonna import, and then I'm gonna show you why. So here we go, right here. Now, this will prompt you, when this opens up, it will prompt you and tell you that you are allowed to change the version, which is perfectly fine. Now, I will state that if you are using AOIs that have been built on a previous version or on a higher version, that sometimes this will not work. But note right here, it allows me to change the version. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this from version 32 to version 31, okay? Then I'm gonna change the name of this to V31, all right? Now this is not the um, this will fail. I want to show. I want to stress this highly. Stress this. This will fail. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to fix that when it fails. Okay. So this looks like it's not doing anything right now. Just give it just a second. It will actually come in and show you how it is. Will start importing and then fail. Now I want to show you exactly why it fails, and how to get actually how to re, you know get the resolution to fix this. Okay, so come in in here, it's gonna start importing, and then you're gonna see it. It's, it's gonna just dull out like that. Now down here, it's gonna see right here, it says import version, expected. Right here, it's gonna be expecting version uh, 2.22. Okay, so we're gonna open up our L5K, all right? And we're gonna change this version, this IE underscore version. We're gonna change that to 22. We're gonna hit save and then we're gonna close. Now, we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna go, we're gonna open, then we're gonna open the L5K and then we're gonna change the version again. And then again, we're still gonna change the name. We're gonna change the name to 31 so we can keep track of it. We're gonna then import, start importing and it will start working then because it was looking for a different version, right? So now it is actually completed. And let's see the errors, it has no errors, messages, it has messages. And let's look at the file, make sure we have our bar. So now, we, if we look at the controller, we are now on version 31. You see that? So we've changed from version 32 from to version 31. You can see the file. Version 31, version 32. Now I can show you these two files running side by side. This is version, uh, let me see, this, this is version 32 and the one we just created is version 31. Side by side, so let's do this. This is version 32, this is version 31. Same exact program, right? So all you had to do was edit the L5K just a little bit, but I will tell you, Again, when it rolls down to it, you're going to have to edit that L5K file. Now, you can do that in Notepad Plus or you can do that in standard Notepad, but again, you just edit it as the error message comes up. Again, when you look at this, if it fails to do so, then for a different version or a different reason, it may be because of your actual AOIs. If you have custom AOIs that are built in your system, then you will run into a different problem that you need to fix. And that is the AOI. So that revolves around fixing the AOI. So I just wanna make a quick little video to show you how to actually do this, how to back 
you know, go for the new UI, change back to editing uh, and getting back to a different version if you wanted to back up a version. And why would you back up a version, right? It could be many different reasons, but this could be a very simple process that you could do under five minutes. With that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.